Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. So I'm not sure how long this video is going to be today. I'm not even sure what I want to talk about today right now. I just know that I'm on my way to work and I wanted to record something. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. It's like lately, lately, it's a lot of people are currently going through a hardship whether it's reality or spiritually you know and I don't, I don't know it's like I'm trying to say what I want to say but I can't get it out you know I'm on my way to work like it's grind time for me like my uh right now my main goal needs to be continuing exercising and continuing eating work I'm about to be honest I, I'm about to I don't mm, I'm about to fuck up. We just gonna say I'm gonna fuck up. It ain't even a fuck up, but I'm about to go get me something to eat because, like, my stress level has been off. Like, my energy has been off. My anxiety has been up and down. Like, this job, I'm over it. Like, I'm just... I know it's time for some type of change. And, oh, look at that. 777. So, it's time for a change. I got to relax. 777. I have to continue what I'm doing and take my time, you know. Or, well, yeah, I'm going to say take my time because I'm, I'm doing it. Clearly, I'm doing it. The videos, they're here, you know. 777. How the license plate is, is 6717. So, for me, I would add the 6 to, I'm mean, at the 1 to the 6 and get 7 and... When I looked up the number seven, it was saying re re relaxation or rest. Um, I say relaxation, rest, reset. You know, it's... I realize that everything that I'm going through is something that's part of my journey. You know, when you level up, going through the next level is not always easy. You know, the first level, the first level may be the hardest. And sometimes as you grow and as you go, it gets harder. But... It's not nothing to be discouraged about. It's not nothing to cry about. Like one of the tarot cards that I am familiar with is called is the Five of Cups, and for me, that's the crying over spilt milk. Uh, crying over spilt milk. You know what I say? What I say yesterday? Sweep it up. You know, wipe that shit up. Get a towel. Get a paper towel or something. Soak it up and call it a day like i've been emotional i've been up and down i've been crying i've been trying to hold it together like this stage of my life this chapter chapter 34 because it ain't chapter two chapter two was at age two you know or when i i had my uh when i was a teenager or something this is chapter 35 okay another year you know so I just want this to be good. They say this is the, the, the year of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius. So a lot of people, not just Aquarius, but a lot of people going to be cutting people off. And a lot of people going to be doing for themselves because, you know, we stubborn. Aquarius, from my understanding, is a fixed sign. And we stubborn as hell. When we don't want to do something, we don't do it. So if somebody tell you they don't want to do something and they don't do it, it's because of the age of Aquarius. Like, I'm just honest. Like, we rub off on everybody. The most hated and the most loved sign of us all, of them all. You feel me? And so I'm like, nah, nah, nah. that's a hater. <laughs> like I said, the most hated and the most loved sign of them all. Either you can handle us or you can't. Ain't no in between. You know? And how the world is going is like, that's how it is for everybody. Either you can handle me or you can't. You ain't got to be an Aquarius to, to resonate with that because at the end of the day, it ain't about you. It's about me. I'm not. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, that's, that's just how I'm going to start. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that, but I got something I need to say. And I'm going to see if I can get it out at work. If I can't get it out at work, then we're going to have to do something else. But here we go, y'all. It's like right now, I feel like I have a whole lot to say. And I really don't know what to say. Like, the weather here has been up and down. One minute is hot, the next minute it's raining, it's cold, it looks like it's about to snow again. Like, I can't deal. Like, I don't know what I've been lying about, but for the last past couple of days, 
I done been feeling like I'm forming a lie bump on my tongue. Now, I don't know if I lied, somebody lying on me or what, but I don't talk to nobody to be lying about nothing. I haven't even made up no lies in my head yet. I hope not anyway. These police out here, like, police are, like, when I first moved to Ohio, you barely seen the police. Barely. Even last year, barely. Like, don't get me wrong, they out here. You know, they be strolling around. They do their little patrols and stuff. It got hot for two seconds. And now, all of a sudden, they swarm in the streets. Like, that's how I know it's my time to go because the police popping out. I, my whole time here, I barely seen them. Always scared to get in trouble. Like, I got pulled one time. And that's within the last past couple of weeks. I said the last past month. I didn't get a ticket. But that's how I know it's my time to go because I feel like they doing too much. And they might not be doing nothing, but it's like you 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 gotta take the signs from the universe, however they're giving to you. Like and to me that's a sign. It's a it's time to move on. Like like you know how the police lead the funeral or the police lead the parade or the uh uh, what? Uh, like, so I can't think of what I'm thinking about, but the police lead a lot of stuff. And, you know, I, sitting here thinking about it, I'm going to take it as they're trying to tell me it's time to go. I know it's time to go. It, it's been time to go. But you got to, you have to plan things. Like, it's, it's cool to be able to just pick up and go and I can, but at the same time, I can't because I still have to think about the fact that when I get there, where I'm going, I ain't got nowhere to go. You know, I ain't got no money right now because the money that I thought I was going to be able to save, I have to spend for something else. And I realized, like, a lot of stuff that I'm going through right now is only a test, you know, because... I'm looking for greatness. I'm trying to be great. So in order to be great, I have to go through these unofficial tests that the universe is throwing my way. And I just pray I, I pass with flying colors, you know. I pray that uh, I get what I deserve. You know, not even what I want. Like, I just pray I get what I deserve. And I deserve the best. So, yeah. I'm about to stroll around this parking lot a few minutes and see if I can find or well, attempt to find a decent parking spot because I got a whole hour before I got to be here. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Like, I'm not going to sit around and say I've been playing, you know, because I have, I have actually been trying to put some stuff into action. But I just lost my train of thought. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. I just lost my train of thought. Look at that. Six six seven five. For me, that's six 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 six. I gotta stay focused. Look at that. Easily distracted. Six six six. Focus, bitch. Focus. <laughs> uh it's currently five 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 as I'm recording this part of my message. Like I realize it's time for some change. It's time for me to change. Well, I've been changing. I think that's uh, not necessarily making it hard, but it's like I'm getting used to new things. You know? Oop. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to chill. <laughs> yeah, something got to change, though. Oh, my God. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, some else two three five two. For me, that's a bunch of threes. Um, three 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 three. You break that five down. You take a two from that five to get three. That's two three three two two. You break one of those twos down and add the one to the other twos. You get three 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 three. So, like I just been sitting here thinking. Like I still ain't going into work yet. I still got what thirty minutes left. But I just been sitting here thinking and, you know, when you work on your mind and when you work on your body, you know, I'm guessing your spirit's supposed to follow. Sometimes a lot of people, you know, 
their spirit rejects change and when you first when you first start to change or when I first start to change is like my body my mind automatically rejected is like for me, my spirit knows that it's time to change. My spirit knows that I need to be more focused on myself. But because of my stubbornness and my resistance, my body and my mind fight it. It's like you got to have all three to be in sync. Well, you have to have all three in sync to be aligned. And I'm not going to say I'm unaligned, but I feel like I'm com- I'm coming unaligned. Like, it's, uh, I just, I don't know. It's, it's really, really weird. It's really crazy. The transition that I'm going through is kind of like, it's kind of hard because, I'm not used to this, you know? It's like, I don't really have nobody that I can talk to. Why? Because everybody has their own life. Like, I think I I really do miss my mom. Like, it's like right now is the time that I need her. Like, I'm a needy person. And I hope... (laughs) I hope whoever come in understands that. I hope whoever, you know, decides to show their face or decide to take a chance with me, they understand that I'm a needy person. Not really, but I am. And it's like this transition, the transition of working on the mind, the body, and the spirit. You know, you live in the spirit or you live in the body and you... Are guided by the spirit, or you should be guided by your spirit, by your soul. Like a lot of people are dead on the inside, so they've already lost their soul. No matter if they still living on earth or not, like they're dead on the inside. So nothing you do, say, or whatever will affect them in no type of way, and they it it, it hurts because when you when you try to live that life not knowing what you get into you get sucked in and then when you try to break that life because you know what you got into and what you're trying to get out of it's 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 hard like healing is hard for me for anybody like it's hard you know it's fun but it's not fun you know you have to be determined like you have to set it in your mind to say that Yes, this is what I'm going to do. And you you have to be the one to stick to it. No one else can make you stick to your goals. No one else can make you determined. No one else can, can, can push you and give you discipline. Like, you have to motivate yourself sometimes. Like, you have to be able to have your own strength, your own discipline to get through things. Like, it's just hard, you know. It's, And I, I want to stop saying that because... With continuation, with consistency, with persistence, it becomes easy. But me being me and the lifestyle that I'm coming from, it's not easy. Look at that. Three, one, four, two. One, two, three, four. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I'm sitting here looking at the whole time and didn't even realize it. One, two, three, four. Mm. Before I go in, like, a part of me just want comfort. You know, I want somebody to share the happiness with me. You know, like, I I was happy alone, but it gets boring. You know, I was comfortable alone, but it's, it's, uh, it's not always fun. And I applaud anybody that say, oh, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. Okay, baby, be alone, because I ain't trying to be. I like being by myself. I don't like being alone. It's a death. <laughs> I need my time. Don't get me wrong. I need my moments when I uh need my resets and I got a uh, reset. But twenty four seven all day long, two three years in a row. Mm-mm. But see, I the people I attract is what I'm trying to break myself out of. You know, they say you attract what you are. I don't believe that I'm a narcissist or narcissistic person, 
But people have called me a sociopath, I think. I don't know. But I don't believe I'm not neither because I don't form myself to fit around people, to please people. Because every time I do, they get mad at me. So I don't understand how I'm a sociopath or if that's the right word, if when I try to be like people... Y'all cuss me out for it. We stopped being friends. But when I'm myself, y'all talk shit about me. Y'all talk about how my back, like, I'm not going to find out. And half the time, I don't. But the intuition, that psychic shit, that, that shit is real. So when you start, when people start acting funny towards you, they don't necessarily have to be psychic, but they know something that you're not telling them, you know? Or either they know something that they're not telling you, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, if they have no reason to be mad at you, they sitting around and talk about you. You know, if you're doing everything for them, you know, and they're not doing nothing for you, the reason why they're mad is because they're talking about you. But if they're doing everything for you and you're not doing nothing for them, they got every right to be mad. But, hey, that's just me and my uh, two minutes of <laughs> two minutes of talking, you know, for this part of the session. I'm going to attempt to go ahead on in here to work, and uh, we'll see what we come up with for the rest of the night. Okay, so I decided to come in the hallway on my break um, to do some more talking. So one thing I want to say is that I realize that I'm a giver. And all I do is give, give, give. I give me, I give money, I give time, I give anything involving me is what I give. Um, and... I'm not going to say I don't like it. I'm not going to say I need to stop because I know I'm not. Like. Okay, so. The reason why I say I'm a giver and the reason why I'm talking about it today is because, like, like I said, all I do is I give me. I give myself to everybody. You know, people call me a friend. You know, people call me, they, they, they talk to me about everything, but when I try to talk to them about stuff, you know, it's like the only way it go through is if they really want, if they decide to talk to me about it. And I don't like that. Like, if you reach out to me and I help you, I will want to be able to reach out to you for you to help me. Now, prime example, I have somebody that I know and... Whenever they are in conflict, since I've met them, I'm not going to say all the time, but since I've met them and since they have helped me with something, every time they're in conflict, they call me. Now, granted, I have, we haven't spoken, spoken about it in over a month's time, but my point is, when you call, I answer. You know, it's nothing wrong with reaching out saying hey to somebody. Regardless if you in a relationship or not, we was friends before you got in a relationship. And your girlfriend know who I am because of the fact that whatever, you know. But you can't call me and ask me for my help. And then I call you and ask for your help. And you like, oh, my girlfriend don't like me talking and doing all of this for other people. But you can call me behind her back when you upset and you, 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 you said like it shouldn't work like that. Somebody else, like, you you calling me, and I know people keep money. I know who keep money in their pocket. But, see, people like testing me. People like seeing what my loyalty is. And my problem is I'm too loyal to people. I'm loyal to the people that's not loyal to me. And it hurt. It's sad. All I try to do is be there for people. All I try to do is help people. I try to go out my way for people all the time. But it's always the wrong people. Like, when, when will the right ones come along? It's like, these past couple of days I've been sad. And I understand it's because of my transition. And But the more and more I go, the more and more I realize, like, the people that I thought had my best interest don't even have my best interest. They have their best interest at heart and use me to get to benefit them. Like, I don't like that. 
Like, it's hard for me to open up to people already. And I'm sitting here trying to do videos with people, trying to give advice. And the people that's close to me, I can't even get help from them. The sad part, the sad part is that people know me. Like, when people say, they tell me I wear my heart on my sleeve. I can't help that. Okay, when people look at me, they see an easy target. Okay, but then when I put up my guard and when I'm being a bitch, or when or they think I'm being a bitch because I'm being stern and don't want to be bothered, that's when it's all shit talk. That's when it's oh, she this, she that. But don't nobody never remember when you help. Don't nobody never remember when you was the last call or you the only one that picked up the phone for them. Don't nobody never remember when you was that last person that they had for anything. All they look at is the bad. Like I said earlier, people call me a sociopath all the time. How am I a sociopath? Because I look out for somebody. When I try to act like y'all, y'all don't like me. When I don't act like y'all, y'all don't like me. Like, how? How does that work? Please explain to me. Like, the day, the world today is not, is not. And, uh, yes, I'm sensitive, and I I cry often, but I can't help it, because right now, that's all I can do. Like, I don't have nobody to talk to, so I talk to my camera. I sit at home, and I talk to myself. I'm in the fucking hallway at work, talking to myself. Why? Because I'm trying to feel better. Like, I could go on for days and days and days about this job or any job. You know, because most of them are the same. The only thing that's different is the name of the people that's there. That's the only thing different. Like I told somebody, I said the only thing that changed state to state is the license plate. The only thing that changed job to job is the face and the name that's there. That's it. The attitude's the same. Everybody trying to be on top. Don't nobody want to be on the bottom. But the ones that's on top get treated like nothing. Because the ones at the bottom don't do shit. But they get the most respect. How? I don't get it. You got hard workers. You got hard workers that come to work, bust their tail, do their job. And just because they speak their mind, they get treated like shit. But the people that come to work lazy, lounging around, we're not even supposed to be on our phone on the floor for one. But they come around on their phone all day long. Don't nobody say nothing to them. But the moment I sit down, the moment I got something to say, everybody got an attitude. It shouldn't work like that. It shouldn't be like that. Like, that's why I promise I can't wait to quit my job. Like, I pray that what I'm doing take off because... Working for people and feeding off energy is hard, especially when you can't block it out because you got energy coming from all different ways. Like, you got energy inside the building, you got energy outside the building, like, you got energy miles and miles away, you got energy minutes away. Like, it's it's, it's hard to soak up everything, it's hard to be one individual knowing what you know and try to block it when you at the beginning of the stage of learning all that shit. Like, I could block people out. I can. But in that moment, I can't. And that's the hard part for me, is blocking people out when I need to. Like, see, when I'm fed up and I'm over, I could block you out. I ain't got to deal with you. But the moment that you fuck me over or the moment that something happened and I got to sit there and think about it, oh, yeah, I'm going to think about it. Why? Because I'm an overthinker. And... I'm slowly working on how to uh, change my thoughts and process and not be as negative, but it's hard right now for me. This transition that I'm going through is hard, and it's all because I know I need to leave. I need to leave this job, this 9 to 5, even though I work overnight, it's still considered a 9 to 5 because I get a paycheck. It's time for me to leave this nine to five. It's time for me to leave the old, the past behind. Like that's why everything is so hard. That's why I'm getting hit so hard. Like another card in the uh, tarot deck is called the Tower card. Like I don't know if my my card is upright or reverse right now, but I feel like I'm going through a semi tower moment. Like it ain't breaking all the way down, but <laughs> some shit exploding. <laughs>
So I don't know why, but I feel the need to cl clarify the hallway incident. So I'm not crying because of the guy I was talking about. I'm not, I wasn't crying because of him. I was crying because of the point. I'm always helping people, but nobody seems to want to help me unless it's beneficial to them. That was my point. And it sucks that I know a lot of people. It sucks that I care for people and people can't return a favor. Oh well.